hello and welcome I am Nate thanks for clicking on the video and I got a treat for you today this is called the Durango this is a three bedroom two bath home this is made by Clayton Holmes here in Waco Texas so made right here in Waco and sold by Clayton Holmes here in Waco. Sorry the sun isn't cooperating too well with me. I will give you some price information on the end, at the end of the home. That porch is included in the price information. Now the porch normally doesn't come with the home, but with the price that I'm gonna give you, that porch is included in that price. So uh, keep that in mind when I'm giving you the price. There's your back door. You got a couple windows there. Some more windows over here. Uh, let's kind of hurry up and get to the front side here so we can get out of this road noise. Right, let's take one good look at this porch here before we go in. Now that we are peacefully inside, <laughs> man, there's a lot of road noise out there. But anyway, <laughs> so we got to start with the living room right here. You've got the tray ceiling. So these are eight and a half foot ceilings. The tray ceiling makes it a nine foot ceiling in that section. We got the six inch crown molding all throughout the home. We've got nice big windows over there, transom windows above the main windows. Coming over here, they've got this nice little accent trim on the walls. Now, of course, it's covered by this centerpiece here, but trust me, that goes all the way down and around also. Looks really good. Can't say I've ever seen that done in a home before, at least not in the modular home. Oh yeah, look at that trick lighting over there. Looks pretty good, huh? We'll get you a better shot of that here in a minute. But we gotta check out the dining room. The recessed lighting, overhead vents. You've got the six man table. Table fits just perfectly in your dining room area here. Lots of room to scoot your chair out when you're done eating. Speaking of eating, so that is something that I have started doing with Raiden since we moved into a new apartment. We don't eat in the living room. We don't eat in, you know, any place like that. When at dinner time, it's time to sit down and eat at the table. He's used to being the only one sitting at the table. I've always been, you know, trying to eat and do stuff at the same time. So I've made it a point that if I'm going to make him eat at the table, I got to eat at the table too. So now we didn't eat at least dinner together at the table. It's about the only time we ever get to eat the same meal at the same time. 
because I usually don't eat breakfast in the morning with him because he's getting up the, you know, to go to school and all that kind of stuff. So I don't eat quite that early. But look at these quartz countertops. Really nice quartz there. And it goes on this counter over here also. Now here is that blue LED trim lighting that they put up. Looks really good. It really kind of stands out. And we've got adjustable shelves. Now they're not a whole lot of adjustment into them, but they are adjustable. Oh, hey, you can even change the color of them. Cool. You decide you don't want uh, blue, you can always change it to a different color. Stainless steel Frigidaire appliances. Some nice deep cabinets over here. And then to top everything off. So the best place to be is together. To top it all off, we've got our pantry. So lots of storage space in here. You even put some big stuff down on the floor, like your bins of, I don't know if you need it bins or not, but some people like to store a lot of like rice and beans and things like that. So as I was growing up, mom used to have great big bins of rice and great big bins of beans and things like that. And so we had a lot of like homemade chili and Utility room comes all the way back here for your washer and dryer side by side. Nice little shelf up above you there. Of course, there's your back door. And this is a full on utility room with your 50 gallon water heater back there, if I can show you. And then you've got your heating and air conditioning. And then how big a freezer do you need? Because you've got a lot of freezer space right here. And into your guest bathroom, which is a really good sized guest bathroom. I mean, look how wide this is. It's not just your standard narrow shrunk up space. Hello, Raiden. These square porcelain sinks. We've got three drawers, two of them being some nice deep ones, lots of counter space. This is the one piece shower tub combo. So you got built-in linen cabinets. And directly across from your bathroom is going to be your first bedroom. Now this is a good sized bedroom here too. A lot of space in here. Of course they've got some overflow of decorations in here. about your average size closet. And then your second bedroom, 
Now this one is just as long as the other one. It's just a little bit narrower. Once again, you've got your average size closet, about the same size as the other one. And now we must check out the master bedroom. I know y'all are waiting for this one. That's a good sized bedroom, huh? And then our closet. Double racks and then the single rack on the left hand side. Now we gotta go check out the bathroom. When you first walk into your bathroom, you've got just a heck of a view. Dual porcelain sinks with a lot of cabinet space down below. Of course, you got the recessed lighting. Nice big soaker tub with the book reader. I always wondered what those were and then I happened to see one in a previous home. And I see them laying across them all the tubs all the time and I was like, what is that? I happened to see one in the previous home I just filmed and it had a book sitting on it. All propped up, I'm like, oh, those are book readers. Look at the shower in this one. I think this is a 40 by 70 shower, so just over three foot, so basically three and a half foot, roughly speaking, and just over six foot long. And I was told that this thing is called the shower tower. <laughs> so I've often wondered what kind of shower, what they call this shower head. It is, they call it the shower tower. So I guess from now on when I'm filming, I will call it the shower tower. You should leave a whole tower of comments in the comment section below. What do you think of the home? What kind of changes would you like to see made? Is this your cup of tea? Or would you, uh, you know, just let me know in the comments down below. And I do appreciate you watching. I'll be right back with some price information. All right, I'm back. Yeah. So what do you think of the shower tower over there? <laughs> like I said, I'd, I'll probably be referring to it as that from now on. But we got to get into some price information. I know that's what you guys stuck around for, so I got to give it to you. Now keep in mind, this is at Clayton Homes in Waco, Texas. This home did not have to travel far. It was manufactured right here in Waco, Texas. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind that depending on where you have this home set up, delivered, there could be extra city fees, county fees, things like that that I can't account for. But with that said, the base price on this home starts at $179,000. They've got it priced. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. They've got it priced at $190,000. So really only about $10,000 in upgrades have been done to this home. So the way you're seeing it, $10,000, 
that's not generally a whole lot in upgrades. So you get a lot of home even for the base price on this one. But with that said, I do appreciate you watching. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Have a good evening. Bye.